Hey, this is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the steps on how to install Windows 10 onto your Mac OS running Big Sur. Before we do that, please remember to always subscribe on my channel, Digital Byte Computing, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Let's go through the steps right now. All right, so you've got yourself your Mac. Uh, we are running Mac OS Big Sur, awesome, awesome operating system by Apple. Heaps of new features, heaps of new benefits that have uh, been upgraded from the previous version, which was Mac OS Catalina. So I'm gonna cross over to my Mac right now, get yourself a copy of Windows 10. You need to get an ISO of Windows 10 to be able to go and install it on your Mac and essentially what this will let you do is when you power on your Mac, you can start on Windows or you can start on Mac OS. So let's cross over to my Mac right now and show you how to do that and the steps to cover that installation. All right, here we are logged into our Mac on Big Sur, as you can see. Uh, first thing you need to do is get yourself a copy of the Windows 10 ISO. And uh, you can buy this from multiple places online. You can download it off the Microsoft site. Uh, you can even get trial versions off the Microsoft website. You can get a DVD and then convert it into an ISO, whatever that may be. Um, but we've got it right here. You need to get that first. And a couple things. First, make sure that you don't have any USB hard drives, external media connected onto the Mac because the bootcamp assistant doesn't like that very much. And secondly, uh, make sure you have enough space on your Mac because if you don't have enough capacity on your Mac, at least around 70 odd gig is generally around a good recommendation. Uh, the installation will not work very well either. So here we are. Now, what we wanna do is we now want to go and install uh, Windows 10. So it runs independent of your Mac OS, uh, running a software called Bootcamp. In the very top right hand corner, we've got a little spotlight uh, icon right here. And we're gonna look for Bootcamp Assistant. Essentially what this lets you do is it lets you install uh, Windows onto an Intel based Mac, which is what you're likely running. Uh, and then it'll go and download the necessary software, essentially because your Mac has got a whole bunch of hardware that is Mac specific. It needs to download the drivers and the software so that Windows understands your hardware that is on your Mac. Okay, uh, and it's always uh, a good recommendation to back up your Mac beforehand. Uh, go and back it up, make sure it's got Time Machine, whatever you do for backups before we do go and continue on here. So let's select continue. So do a little bit of a scan of your computer, make sure everything is good. And we're now presented with this screen right here. So we've got to install Windows, please choose the Windows ISO. You'll see that it's automatically detected my ISO, which is on my desktop. If you've got it somewhere else on your Mac, click on this little area right here, and you can actually go and navigate to the specific location. You can select choose, it'll open up the finder, and then you can navigate to your ISO file. Not every ISO file may necessarily work. So if it doesn't work, it's because it's not a proper Windows 10 bootable ISO. So just be aware of that. Then you've got the container that we need to create. Essentially on the left-hand side here is our Mac OS, and on the right here is Windows. So depending on how much hard drive space you've got free, you can actually allocate more or less to your Windows or your Mac by grabbing this little dot here and dragging it to the left and to the right. Of course, if you've got a larger hard drive, if you've got more capacity, you can make your Windows partition larger. Now be aware that once you've set this, it's created the partition and it's installed Windows, it's gonna be very challenging for you to go and expand your Windows hard drive later. So if you're gonna be using it for gaming, for running apps that are specific to Windows, give it the right amount of capacity right now. Next step is to click on install. Now it's downloading all the relevant software off the internet uh, for your support software, your drivers, things like that. It may take a little bit of time. Now, once all of the relevant software has been downloaded, it's gonna to start to do the pre-configuration of your Windows, and then your Mac will restart. And what should happen is it'll restart into the installation of your Windows 10. So make sure that any apps that are running that you need to save work, what have you, uh, is done beforehand because then your Mac will reboot and then we kick off into the Windows installation. So if everything has gone well, your Mac should reboot and you're now presented with this uh, Windows logo. And then the Windows installer will then begin automatically. And we're now presented with the standard uh, Windows start setup screen where you select your language and your time. Uh, we're gonna leave these as the default of English United States. Select next, and we now say install now. 
If you've got your serial key, your product key, you can input that in there right now. Or you can say, I don't have a product key and you can always input that in later. A few different options around Windows here. Uh, yours may have different options, additional or less options, depending on which ISO of Windows 10 you've got. I'm gonna be selecting Windows 10 Pro. The standard Microsoft license terms, if you're okay with those, you can select, I accept the license terms. Now yours may ask you for the hard drive, uh, where to install it. If it does do that, just select the hard drive that is relevant to your bootcamp size, select that, and then the installation now complete. So essentially you're gonna copy Windows files, it's gonna get the system ready. We'll let this do its thing and we'll check back once it's complete. So your Mac will likely reboot once or twice uh, while the installation is completing. And now it's doing some final setups in the background. So now it's just some basic configuration options that need to be configured on the Windows side. Of course, you configure these which are relevant for you. We're just gonna go with most of the defaults. Now if your Mac is connected to the network, if it's via ethernet, it should pick that up. Um, if it's over a wireless network, your Wi-Fi networks will show up here and you select your Wi-Fi network and then connect your Windows installation to your internet connection. And just to make it a little bit easier, I'm just gonna continue with limited setup. I don't, I don't wanna go and configure a lot of this now. Again, yours may look different uh, depending on the version of Windows that you're installing, but just really go and customize it as best that you can. And then it will do some basic setup in the background that could take several minutes. So here we are logged in. We've now got Windows 10 logged in, ready to use exactly the same way as if you have uh, Windows running on another PC, except this is now running on our Mac, side by side with uh, Mac OS Big Sur, which is great. Now you will get a prompt, hopefully you'll get a prompt to go and install the Windows Bootcamp software or the drivers. Essentially, this is uh, allowing Windows to identify and understand all of the hardware that's on your Mac. So follow the simple prompts, clicking on next all the way through to the very end, rebooting your computer back here onto the Windows side. So what we can do now is we can grab our keyboard and uh, boot into our Mac and then select essentially the default login so that every time you power on your Mac, you can select to either boot into Mac OS or into Windows. On our Mac keyboard, we're gonna hold down the option key and you should have an option of either Windows or EFI boot, Windows being your Windows 10, EFI boot being your Mac OS. So you select the one that you wanna boot up, we're gonna boot into Mac OS. So back on our Mac, uh, obviously booting between Windows and Mac is quite easy. Also within the system preferences area, you can select startup disk, essentially unlock it, and now I can easily select which hard drive I want to start up. So if I want to restart my computer or boot up my computer, it could start either on Windows by default or on Mac OS by default. And of course you can do that on the Windows side through control panel as well. So there you have it, they were the steps. Hopefully you were able to install Windows 10 onto Mac OS Big Sur. Definitely, definitely a great operating system, both Windows and Mac OS, and they're awesome when they are working together and you have the ability and the flexibility to be able to run one or the other. If you found this helpful, I would love it if you commented below, let me know if you were able to get this working or not. And most importantly, please remember to subscribe on that button right there, clicking the button and on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my videos released on Digital Byte Computing. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.